for another phenomenon that wasn't really explained very well by classical mechanics uh, was the emission specter that you see when energy is emitted by atoms or molecules. Um, so you would expect to see a continuous spectrum. This, this is what classical mechanics tells you. If you, you know, shine a white light on something, all of it should come out. <laughs> um, so here, like if you shine white light through a prism, you separate it into all this rainbow, right? You get to see every, it's a continuous spectrum of all the colors. If you do something similar to atoms or elements, you give them a certain amount of energy, you only see certain chunks come out because they only absorb certain chunks because energy is um, quantized and um, the, the atoms themselves can only absorb certain amounts of energy. So these, this is line spec. These are the line spectra, and each element kind of, it's like a fingerprint for for that element. So each one kind of has its own own spectrum. So if you don't know what it is, you can compare it to like a library of of different elements, and you can figure out oh well it's got a line here, here, and here. Then it must be hydrogen, or it's over here. It must be neon. Um, you've seen this before. So you've seen probably like neon lights. They glow a certain color. Uh, they're not white lights. They don't have every single um, everything, every color in it. And so uh, Bohr, Niles Bohr, was trying to explain why we see these sort of certain line spectra. And, and he basically came up with this idea. Okay, so if energy is quantized, right, and, and the electron levels of an atom are also quantized. So suppose you have your, remember what we said by quantized, right, you had these energy, you have, um, think of a ladder, think of that ladder again, right, you can you can step on the ladder here and here, but not really in between. And he kind of said, well, then an element, an atom is the same way. So here's your nucleus and then you know, right there. And then an electron can be here or it can be here or it can be here. And if it absorbs a certain amount of energy, if you take this electron on this level and you move it to this, this energy, it absorbs a certain amount of energy, right? And that energy we already know is equal to HC over lambda. Right, and lambda is related to colors. So if you go way back to um, the beginning of this chapter, we looked at that electromagnetic spectrum, and we had, um, you know, this is the visible range right here, right, 400 to 700. If you're down here, you're more purple. If you're over here, you're red. That that's that, that's a wavelength, right? These are wavelengths. So different wavelengths are related to different energies. And so if it's in the visible range, then we'll see them as different colors. So Bohr basically said electrons uh, in an atom can only occupy certain energy levels. So it can either be here or in this level or in this level, but it can't be in between. You'd only be on one of those little circles. Uh, and he also said that uh, electrons are allowed in those energies and they can only move from one allowed energy to another, right? So I have energy, I said energy equals HC over lambda, which is the same as energy equals H nu, because remember frequency is just C over lambda. So I like this equation because it, it shows how the color, right, which is the wavelength, is related to the energy, though you can get the same information from the frequency. So down here in this picture, uh, showing the same thing, right, you're going from like energy level one to two to three. I just kind of drew it in a circle. This is just looking at it from here. So you can take an electron at energy level one and promote it up to, give it enough energy to go to, to um, energy level two, and then when it relaxes, it's going to release a certain amount of energy that's related to the energy difference between these two. And uh, if you have a hydrogen atom, you can you can come up with some constants here, and this Rydberg constant. Um, again, this only really works for hydrogen, so we don't you don't have to memorize this. You don't have to work with this at all. But that change in energy um, is related to going from one energy level to the next.